hi guys welcome to my channel uh, if you all already seen my videos you know that I'm practicing on AVS educate this is the cloud introduction 101 course so I'm doing the lab for today with you if you haven't seen uh, the previous labs you can uh, see them as well on my play playlist or videos uh, we are going to start with the fourth lab now uh, this is creating an Amazon RDS data database. So, objectives and at the end of the, uh, this lab, your architecture will look like the following example. Um, public, public subnet, private subnet, private subnet. <coughs> and we will create an RDS in the private subnet. Okay, this is 30 minutes, so it shouldn't take too much uh, for us to finish. Um, lab requirements, okay. It is service restrictions. Um, okay, now we can start the lab. The lab pop ups. Um, Chrome or Firefox? Okay, I'm on the Chrome. Okay, now we are going to start the lab and open IBS console and go to RDS services and create a database. Uh, let's start. If you don't know how to access uh, AVS Educate, you can just go to, you can search on Google as AVS Educate and you will see the topics. You can search for these topics um, and you can find these labs. <coughs> uh, there are seven under the um, Cloud 101, Introduction to Cloud. Uh, we are going to s just wait for the lab to start. The lab is ready to go. It takes a while, so you can just wait for a, bit, a little bit. And I open the AVS console. I will take it out as usual. And we'll go to RDS. <coughs> Create database, engine option, select MySQL. My SQL. Okay. And the, the options include several use cases, ranging from uh, ranging from enterprise classes databases to dev test systems in the options. You might notice Amazon Aurora. Aurora. Uh, Aurora is a MySQL compatible system that we architected for the cloud. If your company uses large scale MS MySQL or PostgreSQL database, Aurora can provide an enhanced performance. Template section select dev test. Dev template template dev test. This instance is intended for development use outside of the production environment. Okay, availability and durability section single database DB single DB instance and then inventory identifier inventory inventory database DB and admin master password. <laughs> Lab password, lab password, mm, confirm password, office matches. In the DP instance class section, configure the following options. First of all, classes, mm, select Dynam3 macro, micro. Stor storage section mm, general purpose general purpose assets tgp2 enter allocated storage will be 20. um in the connectivity section configure the following option private virtual private cloud 
connectivity virtual private cloud lab lab vpc um, okay connectivity connectivity section Existing VPC, uh, existing VPC security groups, existing existing VPC security groups. Choose default item. Okay, it's already selected, and then then choose the drop down list selected. <coughs> And select DBSG. Where is it? Okay, close this one, it says. Okay. I thought it's going to choose the file. Monitoring enable enhanced monitoring option. Monitoring additional configuration. No, scroll to monitoring enhanced. Hmm. Is it deselect? Okay, additional configuration expand. Hmm. Initial database name inventory. This is the logical name database that the application will use. Okay, at the bottom of Twitch, choose create database. Um, nothing else to do. This is the cost it shows, monthly cost. Okay, creating database in Mantory DB. If you receive errors that mentions are this mentoring low. Confirm that you are have you have cleared as one turn option the previous step and try again. Therefore, before you continue to the next task and the day needs to be available. We need to refresh and see it available. So we are going to wait a little bit. Configuring web application communication with a database instance. This lab automatically deployed an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. Amazon is a two instance with, uh, with a running web application. You must use IP address of the instance and connect to the application. On the services menu, choose EC2. So we are going to go to EC2 instance now. Left navigation on the instances. Okay, let me see. It's running now. Still creating, so we are going to just wait a little bit. Okay, now it took a little bit, but the status is available now. We are going to go to EC2 now. Sorry, EC2. And there is an app server instance. We are going to take the public IP address, running instances, app server instance, private public IP here. Okay, copy um, and then this page is just like open a new browser and copy <laughs> it there. Uh, please configure setting to connect database. Two settings here. Um, you can now configure the application to use Amazon RDS database instance that you created earlier. You first retrieve the data endpoints stored at the application, knows how to connect to the database. Return to database management console, but do not close the application tab. You will return to its uh, services menu again. RDS, go here. RDS. Okay, databases choose inventory DB. Um, 
update again. Scroll to connectivity security. Shall I just go inside? Connectivity security endpoint section and copy the endpoint section. Endpoint endpoint here. Okay. It looks similar. Okay, return to the browser endpoints here. Database inventory. Mm -hmm. Username, lab password. <coughs> Sorry, uh, admin and lab password. Choose save. Okay, the application will now connect to database load. Uh, load some initial data and display information, edit inventory, edit and delete inventory. Okay. The inventory information is stored in the Amazon RDS MySQL database that you created earlier in the lab. This means that, that in the event of the failure in the application server, you will uh, not lose any data. It also means that multiple application servers can access the same data. Insert a new record into the table. Ensure that the table has five or more inventory records before submitting your work. <coughs> okay, add inventory. Okay, store. It's a random item. Three, two, three, five, doesn't matter. Item also. Amazon RD, let's say RD, RDS quantity three. Okay, and add another inventory. Let's say Istanbul item ten. Sorry, item Amazon Turkey quantity ten. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five now. I'm going to submit the work. You have now successfully launched the application and connected to the database. Optional to access the save terminal, go to the database management console services system menu, system manager, of navigation parameter store. Parameter store. Parameter groups. System is uh, on the services systems manager. Manager. Parameter store. Inventory. Okay. Submitting, submit the work. Let's do that. Hope there is no issue. Yes, I want to submit my work. Waiting for the report. Uh, great have come true so there's no issue here finally good i will see you in my next video bye